It's a spandrel. But it's not part of this tree, though. Trying to get in here. Okay, let me get it over here. Or you can take them right off this one right here. Okay, looking at K1, we're going to start cutting it from the middle of the columns of no, K1. Spandrel. Spandrel? Okay. Spandrel. You don't have to do quite so much cinematography. I'm just trying to provide perspective as to where the cuts oh, are see. being made, that's all. It, the, the, the ticket, oh, excuse me. All right, I got cool, go right ahead. Ticket fell off? Okay. That's okay. Well, there was a ticket on the, just a K1. the top side, but it's K1, so, and this is the mark right here. Okay. Okay, now we're looking at the uh, the section uh, just after it was cut off here. You can see a corner is missing on this piece. It's on uh, section K1. This is section K1, and now... Uh, hang on. This is section K1. We have started cutting on, sec on NIST N1 over here. That's... Uh, Mike Savage in the green shirt, and that's Tim Fakey in the gray shirt, and uh, doing the cinematography, or doing the uh, photography. Come on, Marie, I gotta get this in. Okay, over here, uh, that's Steve Benovic in the green shirt, and Jim Fink in the red shirt. And uh, moving back over to the camera, doing the cinematography is Maureen Williams. And I'll provide some more details on uh, what what cuts are being made on NIST N1. Okay, we're looking at NIST N1. We're actually cutting around on the other side, so I'm gonna slowly walk around to the back side of this, of this member so that you can see where the cuts are being made. That's Tim. So, I don't know if I can get a good shot of this or not, but we've already made one cut on this piece here. Right, right there. Um, let's see. All right, Tim, is this the top or the bottom? Top. This is the top, and it's the back side, correct? It is the outside. It is the outside. That's right. This is the outside. This is the top, outside, and there's only two columns, columns. on this. Well, we're calling the center and the left, or actually two and three, I believe. Right. And uh, currently, we just uh, started the cut right here. That's on. The, what was this? What are those webbings? Spandrels. Spandrels. We're working on a cut from the spandrel. Okay, this is a shot of the completed cutout on the spandrel from section N1. Okay, we're uh, preparing to start some cutouts on our third section for the day. Uh, this is my reference point. This is K1. Uh, over there in the back where it says NIST N1, that was N1, and now we are uh, preparing some cuts on N, I'm sorry, K2? Is this N2 or K2? I want to make sure I get K2. Right? K2. 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 We're starting, we're preparing cuts on K2. Um, this is a, this is the inside. Um, hang on a second. Okay, this is a rectangular cutout, so that means that this is the bottom of this section. Uh, we're preparing to take a cut. It looks like, is the very top of this beam missing? Yes. Okay, the very top of this beam is missing. So the last four feet of it. The last four feet or so, that's an estimate, of the beam is missing, but we're taking a cut from the column um, near the top. Okay, I'm going to show you the, the cuts that were made on uh, section K2. Again, for reference point, this, is, this was section K1. That was the first set of columns that we cut from today. And this is section K2. Uh, this is the uh, bottom. And we're going to be moving towards the top. Excuse me, Mike. I'm going to slide around behind you here. Yep. 
and uh, this is close to the top of uh, <coughs> column K2. Uh, we're looking uh, at the, um, the inside of the top of K2, and there's a cut that was made right there. You can see that uh, right angle cut <coughs> on the column, and then the cut was made right here on the uh, spandrel of K2. Okay, uh, finished the cuts on K2 and we are now moving on to the next set of columns. Again, this is my reference point here. This is K1 and currently we are working on this set of columns, which is M2, and I will uh, get in closer to detail where the cuts have been made. Okay, this is uh, column M2 and I'm going to take you in and show you where uh, two cuts were made in, on the uh, top parts of the column. Uh, this, okay, is, get this, back here this is a cut from uh, M2, column 3, the top front right flange. And you can see the, uh, the uh, cut marks on left on the flange right there. Coming over to um, that's column two. This is column one, and uh, we've also taken a cut from the top front right flange of column one. Okay, let's just um, reorient ourselves here. This is our my starting point, K1, and uh, we just finished cutting pieces from M2, and I'm going to show you where the uh, rest of the cuts were made on on this uh, section, on this series of columns. Well, I already showed you the cuts that were taken from the um, top of the columns. Now we're going to move around to the uh, middle and the uh, bottom side. I have to step across these plates here. So. Okay. The... <coughs> first cut, or rather I guess the third cut. This is again M2. This is designated uh, M2 C2B S1 and it is a cut taken from the bottom of the spandrel attached to column 2. Okay, moving around over here. There are two cuts here. Uh, there's a cut on the, on the left and a cut on the right. The cut on the right is uh, designated M2C3B, step one. It is a cut taken from the corner of the step on the inside of column three. And next to it is M2 C3B shear one, and that is a diagonal cut taken from the shear plate on the inside of column three. Okay, now coming back over to this side, you see the final cut taken on this uh, on M2 it is uh, down here, and that is. M2 C2B FL1, and that is a cut taken from column two, the bottom left flange. Today is April 15th, 2002. It's approximately 1.30 in the afternoon. My name is Donald Kramer, and I am the cinematographer at the moment. Uh, today we are continuing our work on collecting samples for um, metallurgical research from the World Trade Center. Uh, over here, we're, we're currently working over here on section N11. Uh, in addition to myself, we also have uh, Mike Savage, who is on the far right in the um, <clears throat> olive shirt, the gray pants, Steve Banovic in the gray shirt and the uh, Jeans, just walking over there, and Maureen Williams is doing the uh, photography. And I will do a walkthrough of 
the section after they have finished their cuts to detail what sections were taken. Okay, I'm going to do a walkthrough on the uh, beam that we just cut into, and that was N, as in Nancy or Norman, 11. Uh, this is a point that I've been using to start from. This is K1, and we will be um, going over here to where N11 is. Okay, we've taken four cuts from uh, section N11. Uh, currently, we are looking at the uh, top side of this uh, of this section here. Uh, this is the position of the first cut here. Um, let me move. Okay, that is uh, <clears throat> N1C1TFL1. That is a cut from the uh, top left flange of C of uh, C1. This is on the outside. The uh, box cutout is down here. This is C2. It's actually um, <clears throat> bent uh, quite severely uh, in the, the uh, spandrel. So we're actually looking on the uh, inside of the top of C2 here where, the, where you can see the cutout. Uh, the cut that was taken is right there. That is uh, N11 C2TFL1. That is a cut taken from the uh, top left flange of uh, C2, and the, uh, the third cut is <clears throat> on C3, that is uh, C3T FR1, that's the right flange. The last cutout, Steve, is taken from the middle spandrel here. This uh, N11 actually ends in the middle of the beam, the um, bottom uh, spandrel and the bottom of these beams are actually missing. So this there's a cutout right here, and this is C2M S1. That's a cutout from the uh, middle spandrel next to column C2. Okay, we just uh, finished cuts on the next um, <clears throat> the next section, which was N as in Norman nine. Uh, currently, we're looking at the uh, the previous section or previous section that we were cutting into, which was N11. Um, <clears throat> I already showed you the cuts in N11. N9 is uh, right behind N11. Uh, we're looking at this structure here as we look at it. We start from the left. That's column one. In the middle, column two. On the right here is column three. Column three is uh, broken off uh, midway through the column just below the uh, middle spandrel. There are four cuts in this, in this section here. Um, and let me just uh, continue to pan over here. This is, now we're looking at the bottom <clears throat> part of N9, and be careful here, and right down here is the bottom. So, okay. And the first cut is C, th is, I'll say it's right up here, right where that chalk mark is there. It's a cut from, that is uh, C3T FL1, that's a cut from column three. This is column three. That's the uh, top side of the beam, the left uh, left flange on the front side. Um, <clears throat> the next cut is right over here. This is column one that we're looking at now. And the designation for this cut here was uh, C1M F. R1, that stands for column one, uh, middle of the column, and that's the um, front side and the right side flange. Uh, in order to show you the other cuts, I need to get around to the back side. There's no convenient way to do that with tape running, so just a second. Okay, now we are uh, looking at N9, 